Malika Asalaam Rabbatullah to you and yours. I am the Geek Monster, also known as Malika Stanley, and this is the first YouTube video thing that I am doing. Um, I was reading around, checking around YouTube, looking at some stuff and some news that's going on, and uh, one thing that probably disturbed me was what they are doing in France uh, with the kneecap and the hijab. The uh, French Parliament is considering banning all women from wearing hijab and kneecap. And being that I'm an American Muslima and a convert, I find it, I don't find that liberating at all. You see, uh, being that France was judging the United States for the, a lot of the things that they were doing, I find it a contradiction why you want to inhibit a person's freedom of religion and freedom of opinion without first knowing the facts about what niqab and hijab is. And giving Muslimas in France the right and the choice to wear it. In America, we are protected by something known as the Bill of Rights and the First Amendment giving us freedom of religion. Meaning, in America, I can wear a kneecap and hijab and no one has the right to pull it or yank it or the government can't ban me from wearing it. That's what makes America strangely unique, but also uniquely strange. Um, for the French president to even consider putting this ban up without first getting facts and information about what hijab and niqab symbolizes is not only dangerous, but it's also lethal. It is forcing Muslims to compromise their modesty. It is forcing them to compromise what they believe and what Allah support and what the Prophet Muhammad and Allah teaches in the Quran. To be, in a way, I find it very alarming and very scary what's that, of what's going on because I feel like we are under attack. I think Muslims are under severe attack because of how we dress. And I'm sorry, but we feel like, we don't feel like beautiful is defined as exposing our hair, exposing our bodies. Because if we compromise on hijab and niqab, what else are we willing to compromise with? Um, also, what I've been noticing on, um, what I've been noticing on some of the YouTube websites is some people commenting thinking that we are oppressed and we don't have any rights and things like that and Muslims have plenty of rights. Believe it or not, there are Muslims and Muslims all around the world who are doing great things. Um, we're becoming lawyers, we're going to school, we're working hard, we're doing a lot of things. We're making a lot of noise. I noticed on some of the YouTube pages that we are becoming journalists, we're becoming writers. And to say that Muslim women are being oppressed just because we wear a niqab and just because we wear a hijab is not only bogus, but it's also showing a constant reminder of ignorance. Instead of people actually reading the Quran or actually asking Muslimas, Asking a Muslim or a Muslim a question about us, all they do is scoff and stare and whisper, saying that we are oppressed, we are damaged, we are, we are being disrespected. And that makes no sense by no means. Inshallah, someday we'll get through this. Someday I'll get through this, and inshallah, I am hopeful that the French Parliament and that the President of France actually does more research on this issue instead of rushing to judgment and opposing bans on things 
without fully asking the people in the Muslim community, without ask the Muslim community, ask people in, ask Muslims who are in the parliament. I know that some Muslims work at parliament that will tell you that the hijab is not repressive and the kneecap is not repressive. Um, well, that's my two cents on that. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The Geek Monster.